Hey guys, I'm Steve Brood. Um, we're coming to you live from my uh, sunny studio in uh, sunny Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. And we're here because um, uh, we are uh, promoting uh, another sketchbook. Now, a lot of people do these sketchbooks. A lot of artists do these things to uh, subsidize their regular income, <clears throat> such as it is. Um, the, Rude, uh, the people at the Rude Dude uh, Corporation here, uh, such as it is, <clears throat> are doing the same. Um, <clears throat> this is the latest sketchbook that we're doing these days, and we're doing very good with our fundraising so far. Um, uh, we're actually at the $15,000 point, which is pretty remarkable considering how uh, some of these past ones have gone here. So we're very indebted to your fans for doing this. <clears throat> The, uh, the Kickstarter is going till the very end of January, um, the last Sunday, the 29th. <clears throat> so the fact that we're doing so good right now is, is, um, is very helpful to, for me and, uh, and my family here. Um, in the meantime, um, I thought I'd entertain you guys uh, with uh, how I draw a picture. And this one here is going to be a picture of the thing. Everyone, know, everyone knows the thing. He's part of the quartet of the Fantastic Four. You've all seen him in the movies. You've all seen them in the comics, and you're going to see them uh, right here as I draw them up before you. Um, here's a glimpse of what the sketchbooks look like. <clears throat> this is very typical of what they look like uh, every year. <clears throat> there's commissions like this one, and there's um, pages from my actual sketchbook like this, and there's a whole bunch of this and a little bit of that. And so when we put them all together, we get a whole lot of, we get a real hodgepodge of everything that I've been doing in the last year or so. So if you don't mind, I'm going to get going on uh, drawing the thing. The two, the two tools I'm going to be using are just your regular chart pack marker and this sign pen made by Pantel. And I think they're produced out of Japan, where all the good tools are, happen to be made nowadays. So let's get to it. Hope you enjoy my drawing the thing. You can see I've kind of briefly outlined this guy to save us a little bit of time. And everyone knows that the thing has got a rocky exterior to him. Now when you draw these, these, um, these various things that make uh, up the thing, things that make up the thing, that's good, um, you got to think, um, it's very helpful to think in, in three dimensions. This goes, this goes back, this thumb goes back here compared to these. These are up front and this thumb goes, goes back. And these rocks right here that he's made up of, uh, as Jack Kirby created him, there's a lot of different ways to do these kind of things. And ironically, a lot of people find that when they're drawing him, the thing, when they're drawing the thing and the things, um, they find them to be much harder than they thought they would. Well, um, welcome to the, the sleight of hand art of comic book drawing. Everything looks a little simpler than it actually is when you start to actually draw it. <clears throat> so one way to do this <clears throat> is to start out <clears throat> an outline, but there are other ways to do this too, which I'm gonna show you in a second here. You've got to be thinking dimensionally um, when you draw uh, anything. And hopefully that'll that'll keep you on uh, keep you honest here when you're doing these things. Uh, I think the shorts are going to slip through a little bit. I've studied these rocks that, the way Kirby draws them, of course, wanting to maintain my uh, my model sheet accuracy of uh, the way he looks. Ben Grimm, the thing. But it, uh, it's still tricky. What came natural to Jack Kirby um, can be very um, tricky and unnatural to people who have a different sense of uh, sensibility um, than someone who uh, we know to be a genius. Now, here I was going to show you something that I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> Here's one way um, that you can do these rocks right here. So before I even do anything linear, I can do something like this. <clears throat> I can actually block in the blacks 
which is kind of um, my, my way of representing the form of the thing before I go in and actually draw these rocks. <clears throat> I think it's better to probably do the, do the outlines first in this case, being the smart guy that I am. Because that way I can keep um, the highlights on the broad side of the rocks intact here. <clears throat> but that's kind of the way I, I do it here. <clears throat> and I remember finding out uh, how, to, how to do it this way when I was at the, um, um, the Bill Reinhold residence. And Bill is married to Linda Lesman, a very charming lady that um, uh, most of us know started out in the studio with uh, Barry Smith. <clears throat> but she's been married to Bill for a billion years. They have a daughter, they have a lot of dogs, blowhards as I call them, and uh, probably some dicks. I won't hold that against them. So that's how I, I end up uh, drawing this guy right here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm going to go back to my sign pen right here. And just kind of extrapolate from what I've been doing here. And hopefully it'll come out looking like something that uh, would have come out of a, um, a Jack Kirby drawn Fantastic Four comic. We always, we always attempt to please here. Now let's get the, fi the, hang uh, the things uh, face down. I'm going to tip the drawing a little way this way right here. <clears throat> we all know the thing is very identified by this uh, heavy duty brow ridge here. And somehow, when you study these things, and you study them enough, you're going to find a natural rhythm to these, to these, um, this rocky exterior here that the thing is known for. All these cre these creatures and, and characters are uh, from the imagination of uh, one human being, who is, I think, something more than a human being, um, by the name of Jack Kirby. We all know him. If you don't, um, you will soon enough, if you have any... Uh, desire to be part of the comic book pantheon. The brow ridge is casting a little bit of a shadow. I've always thought of comic books <clears throat> as the coolest thing you could ever make a living of. Um, but again, I don't think of them, I, I still don't think of them as something you make a living of. Um, making a living off something is, is when you have a job. A job is something you get up and go to and work for somebody and collect the paycheck. Um, whereas we do, thankfully, collect the paycheck. <clears throat> it's, um, it's something you, we'd all do, I think, uh, for nothing. Thankfully, um, we have people that pay us for this, um, which is helpful. And as I'm doing this, you know, one thing leads to another. And I think a little cast shadow down there is going to help um, help his face read. This is another case of if I fill the blacks in first, I can I can form a th something that is going to help me uh, help the thing read um, from a distance. <clears throat> is this as hard as it looks, or as easy as it looks? Well, it's some it's kind of somewhere in between. 
and no matter how many years of experience you have, it's um, um, it's not a cakewalk, guys. It's um, it's it's not that. It's uh, it's kind of an in between. Um, it's in between all of that, and you don't really know how it's going to turn out until you actually sit down, pick up the pencil or pen and brush. That is, if you're still traditional like I am and intend to be uh, forever and ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> because I am a traditionalist and always will be. I will always want to feel the real tools underneath uh, my hand. And I hope uh, there are others like you out there too that feel the same way. So there's, there's the thing, as I, as I see him... <clears throat> It didn't take long. It went pretty fast. He's not a, a super complex character um, to have to render. And um, this is um, this is this is all these things that I demonstrate for you are for sale. If you just look at the little description below, you're going to find out um, how to get something like this that you saw me draw uh, live in front of you. So all that remains from here is to sign it. <clears throat> And uh, to sign it, um, this is as close to orange as I can get. Steve Rude, the dude, 2023, which is uh, the year of our sketchbook that we're promoting right now. So thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll be back for more things like this because I think they're a lot of fun. And um, if you guys learned something from this by watching me do what I've been doing for 40 years, then bravo, because there's a lot of people out there that want to do comic books, and I think it's helpful to see guys like me who have been in the business for a long time uh, to see how we do things, because everyone does it a little different, but we all do it kind of the same, too, at the same time. So, till next time, um, keep pledging. You have until the end of January, and uh, thanks for everything you've done so far. We're halfway there. Let's see, see if we can make it all the way there. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.